Mercy. She stands tall, a beacon in the harbor, the Statue of Liberty, a symbol of freedom, a testament to hope, her torch, a guiding light, her gaze fixed on a brighter future. Millions have gazed upon her, millions have drawn strength from her, from across oceans they came, seeking refuge, opportunity, and a new life. She welcomed them all, with open arms she embraced them, whispering tales of liberty and justice, promising a land of opportunity, a land where dreams could take flight. The Statue of Liberty, more than just a monument, she is an icon, a symbol of the enduring human spirit, a beacon of hope for the world. The story of Lady Liberty is one of friendship, a tale that transcends time and borders. A bond forged in the fires of revolution where the flames of change and the desire for freedom burned brightly. France and the United States, two nations united in their pursuit of liberty, justice and the unalienable rights of man. The statue, a testament to their shared ideals, stands tall as a symbol of hope and resilience. The idea was sparked in the aftermath of the American Civil War, a time when the nation was grappling with its identity and future. Edouard de la Boulay, a French historian and fervent supporter of the American cause, conceived the idea of a grand monument. A monument to celebrate American independence, to honor the enduring spirit of a nation that fought for its freedom. A symbol of the friendship between France and the United States, a bond that had been strengthened through shared struggles and triumphs. The year was 1865, a pivotal moment in history when the world was witnessing profound changes. The United States, still healing from the wounds of war, was in need of a symbol that could unite its people and inspire hope. France, seeking to honor the ideals of liberty and democracy, saw an opportunity to strengthen its ties with America. Together they embarked on this ambitious project, a monumental task that required the collaboration of artists, engineers and visionaries from both nations. The statue was to be a gift, a grand gesture of goodwill and solidarity meticulously crafted and transported across the ocean. A symbol of Franco-American camaraderie, unveiled with great fanfare and celebrated by people on both sides of the Atlantic. A beacon of hope for a world yearning for freedom, welcoming countless immigrants who arrived at Ellis Island in search of a better life. A lasting reminder of the ties that bind nations together, the Statue of Liberty continues to inspire and remind us of the enduring power of friendship and freedom. The task was monumental. It was a challenge that would test the limits of human ingenuity and perseverance. Designing and building such a colossal structure was no small feat. It required meticulous planning innovative thinking and an unwavering commitment to excellence. It demanded the greatest minds of the era, individuals who could envision the impossible and bring it to life through sheer determination and skill. It required unwavering dedication, a relentless pursuit of perfection that would not be deterred by obstacles or setbacks. Frederick Auguste Bartholdi, a young and ambitious sculptor, was chosen for this monumental task. His artistic vision was unparalleled and his passion for the project was evident from the very beginning. His vision was to create a majestic woman draped in flowing robes, a symbol of freedom and democracy that would inspire generations to come. Holding aloft a torch, she would illuminate the world, a beacon of hope and enlightenment for all who saw her. Her face, carefully sculpted with a serene and determined expression, would become a symbol of hope and enlightenment a representation of the ideals that the statue stood for. But Bartholdi couldn't do it alone. He needed an engineer, someone with the technical expertise to turn his artistic vision into a tangible reality. Someone who could translate his vision into reality, ensuring that the statue was not only beautiful, but also structurally sound. Someone who could make the impossible possible overcoming the numerous technical challenges that such a grand project would inevitably face. Enter Gustav Eiffel, a visionary engineer whose innovative designs and engineering prowess were already making waves in the industry. Known for his innovative designs and his ability to think outside the box, Eiffel was the perfect partner for Bartholdi in this ambitious endeavor. His most famous creation, the Eiffel Tower, was still years away, but his genius was already evident in the projects he had undertaken. But his genius was already evident in the projects he had undertaken, showcasing his ability to solve complex engineering problems with innovative solutions. 
Eiffel devised an ingenious internal framework for the statue, a skeletal structure of iron that would provide the necessary support while allowing for flexibility. A skeletal structure of iron strong enough to support the massive copper skin that would form the outer layer of the statue, strong enough to support the massive copper skin, yet flexible enough to withstand the elements ensuring the statue's longevity and stability. Flexible enough to withstand the elements from the fierce winds to the harsh weather conditions, ensuring that the statue would stand tall for generations to come. It was a marvel of engineering, a testament to the collaboration between art and science, and a symbol of what can be achieved when visionaries come together to pursue a common goal. Section 4 Gateway to the New World the Statue of Liberty, a symbol that has stood the test of time, representing the ideals of freedom and democracy. Standing tall on Liberty Island, she is an iconic figure, a welcoming sight for those arriving by sea. Guarding the entrance to New York Harbor, she has witnessed countless stories of hope and despair, triumph and struggle. A beacon to the world, her torch held high, lighting the way for those seeking a new beginning. A symbol of hope for countless immigrants, she stood as a promise of a better future. They came from all corners of the earth, driven by dreams and aspirations, leaving behind everything they knew. Fleeing poverty, persecution and war, they sought refuge in a land that promised freedom and opportunity. Seeking a better life for themselves and their children, they embarked on a journey filled with uncertainty and hope. Drawn by the promise of America, they believed in the possibility of a new start, a chance to rebuild their lives. For them, the Statue of Liberty was more than just a monument. She was a symbol of hope, a beacon of freedom, and a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. She was a symbol of hope, a beacon of freedom. Her presence reassured them that they had reached a land where they could start anew. A welcoming embrace at the end of a long and arduous journey, she stood as a silent guardian, watching over those who sought refuge in a new beginning. As they sailed past her, they felt a surge of emotion, a sense of relief, a sense of gratitude, a sense of hope. They had made it. They were home. The Statue of Liberty, a silent guardian, a watchful protector, she represented the culmination of their dreams and the beginning of their new lives, a symbol of the American dream. She stood as a reminder that in this land, anything is possible. Her presence was a testament to the enduring spirit of those who dared to dream. A reminder that in this land, anything is possible. She continues to inspire generations, reminding us of the values that define America. Freedom, opportunity, and the pursuit of happiness. The Statue of Liberty, a timeless symbol of hope and a beacon of freedom for all who seek a better life. Section 5. A light that cannot be dimmed. The Statue of Liberty has witnessed it all. Wars and peace, prosperity and hardship, social unrest and political change. Through it all, she has stood tall. She has been a silent witness to history, a symbol of hope during times of despair, a rallying point for those fighting for justice and equality. The suffragettes marched for their right to vote. The civil rights movement fought for equality. The LGBTQ plus community demanded recognition and acceptance, and through it all, Lady Liberty stood as a beacon of hope. Her torch, a symbol of enlightenment, her crown, a symbol of liberty, her tablet, a symbol of justice, she represents the very best of America. The ideals that this nation aspires to. Section six, a nation symbol restored, time takes its toll. Even on the mightiest of structures, the Statue of Liberty exposed to the elements for over a century, she needed care, she needed restoration. In the 1980s, a massive restoration project began. Experts from around the world working tirelessly to preserve this iconic monument. Every detail meticulously examined, every floor carefully repaired. The copper skin was cleaned and treated. The iron framework was reinforced. The torch, badly corroded, was replaced with a replica. It was a labor of love, a testament to the enduring power of this symbol when the scaffolding finally came down. The world gasped in awe. Lady Liberty, more radiant than ever, restored to her former glory, ready to inspire generations to come. Section 7, an enduring legacy of hope. The Statue of Liberty, a gift from France, a symbol of America, a beacon of hope for the world, her legacy enduring, her message timeless. She stands as a reminder of the fragility of freedom, of the importance of fighting for what is right, of the power of hope to overcome even the darkest of times. 
Her torch continues to shine, a beacon for those seeking refuge, a symbol of opportunity for those yearning for a better life, a reminder that the American dream is still alive. The Statue of Liberty, more than just a monument, she is a symbol of the human spirit, a testament to the enduring power of freedom, a beacon of hope for generations to come.